morning, good morning. If it's your first time joining, don't be afraid. My name's Annika. Today we will start our week off by waking up our bodies. We'll do a little flow. More than anything, what's important is your connection to your breath. That will bring your attention inside. All right, I'm just gonna show you what's going on down here. Okay, we'll put the octopus away. It's a typical Monday morning. <laughs> so a comfortable seated position. Let's bring our hands down onto our thighs. Oh, good morning, little man. Let's take our thumb and forefinger together like okay. Turn the palms up and place them on top of your knees. You can allow the eyes to close for me. Take a deep inhale and maybe a smile on your face while I remove the squeaky octopus. Okay, octopus is gonna sit down with mummy, nice and quiet. There we go. Just take your attention to your breath, slow, deep inhale through the nose and breathe it out through the mouth. And again, take a deep inhale and exhale it out. Now seal your lips and take that breath all the way down into the belly. Exhale it out through the nose. Drawing that breath now up into the rib cage, let your ribs expand and exhale it out. Now draw that breath all the way up into the heart cavity. Breathing, opening, expanding. Drawing the hands together in front of the heart. Bring the fingers together, thumb into the chest. On your next inhale, just bring those thumbs to them in between your eyebrows to the third eye. This is the seat of your intuition, your inner knowing, your connection to the innate intelligence that's all around you. That same innate intelligence that's beating your heart, making your body work without you having to do anything except keep opening your mouth, keep opening your nostrils to breathe. On your next inhale, just think about your intention, what brought you to your mat? What brings you to your mat each time? What are you seeking? Right, the intention creates a spark of energy and focusing on that intention generates energy and activates it. Take an inhale and reach the hands high. Extend the spine nice and tall. Exhale, come into child's pose. Draw the fingers forward, take the knees, hip width apart. Bring your big toes to touch and draw the forehead down to the mat. Let your belly fall and just ground your elbows, let it go. Focusing on your breath. On your next inhale, slowly rise onto all fours. 
Just curl your toes under for me. Take the hands underneath the shoulders and spread your fingers so you have a nice firm base. Drop the belly, take an inhale, lift the chin, lift your tailbone, gaze up. Exhale, push the mat away. Suck your belly button to spine, tilt tailbone under, chin to chest. And again, start to follow your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Arching like a cat. Inhale, just opening out their shoulders, maybe rotating the elbows open. Just linking breath to movement. Vinyasa. Coming into neutral spine, just take a deep inhale, release the toes and extend your left leg back. Press your big toe into the mat. Press back through the heel and just hold it there. Don't bounce, just press it back and let that Achilles and that calf release. Take an inhale, draw that leg up off the floor. Engaging your core, push the mat away. A little balance, flex that back foot. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw that left foot all the way over to the right. Bring your toes to the mat, to the ground, and rotate right shoulder towards right hip. Look over, see if you can see your toes. A nice release in that IT band. Take an inhale. Lift the leg all the way back behind, flex, and exhale, release your knee back down. Just shake your tail a little bit, wag your tail, side to side. Coming back to neutral, and on your next inhale, you'll take your right foot behind, pressing that toe into your mat, and push back through the heels. Now your fingers on the ground, make sure your hands are still underneath your shoulders, fingers are spread, and you're pressing through the wrists. So you're not kind of dumping into your shoulders there. Lift, on an inhale, lift the leg, draw it all the way over to the left till you can't get round anymore. Toes to the mat, inhale, exhale. Draw that left shoulder towards that left hip. You'll feel your IT band. Just gaze at that back toe and breathe. Inhale, come all the way behind. Lift up, place the knee down. Bring the knees hip width apart, a few cat and cows. Just checking in with your body. How are you showing up on a Monday? How's your body showing up on a Monday, a start to the week? Coming to neutral, walking the palms out to maybe to the top of your mat. Inhale, draw those hips forward. Exhale, press them back to the heels. So you're making giant circles. You can close your eyes. Toes are curled under. Close your eyes, nobody's watching. And change direction when it feels good for you. Slowly, slow, slow breath forward. Exhale, press it back. Oh, you get some oil in the joints unless you've already been doing this all bloody weekend. Good, last time, come forward. Draw the hands back under the shoulders. Keeping the toes curled under. Slowly lift the hips into your first downward facing dog. Well, I say good morning again to this little dog. Downward facing dog, your palms are nicely outstretched. Gazing up at your belly button, pressing back and lengthening through the spine. Maybe paddling your heels because it's the start of the day. Paddling your heels, pressing back. And now connect your breath to these movements. At some point, finding stillness, pressing the heels down towards the mat, gazing at your belly. High onto the toes and take the heels all the way over to the left. Then press back with the hands. IT band again. 
Inhale, come through center. Heels down the other side. Press back, gaze at your belly button. Come high on the toes, bend the knees deep. Draw the belly down to the thighs. Good, slowly lift the bum and tiptoe the toes to the top of the mat. Grab opposite elbows and just hang. Let the spine decompress. Shake your head a little side to side. Hands on the shins, take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Press through the heels, reach the hands up. Take the palms together, look up, bring the hands back down through heart. Draw the belly button in, tuck the tailbone under, chin comes into chest. Take a deep inhale, exhale it out through the mouth for me. Now seal the lips and keep that breath, that ha sound, but in the back of the throat. So it sounds like Darth Vader or fogging a mirror. You choose who you want to sound like. Bring the hands down by the sides, step the feet, hip width apart, spread the fingers, draw the shoulders up and down the back. Breathe. Next inhale, reach the hands high above the head. Grab hold of that left wrist, take it over. Next inhale, reach the hands high above the head. Inhale, other side. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, open out. Take a back bend. Squeeze the bum, shoulder blades together. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold in. That's the magic of live yoga and dogs. It's a little more interesting than goats, right? Halfway lift. Take the palms down. Take the feet back and come into your plank. Now, if plank's not happening for you, if you're in plank, shoulders draw them over their wrists. Otherwise, drop down to the knees and hold there. Slowly lower down. Bring the chest down. Draw the elbows tight into the ribs. Slowly hover. And on an inhale, release the toes. Push the body through and back. Draw the shoulders back. Look up. Press the toes into the mat. Maybe you can even float your knees. Curl the toes under, hips high. You're back to down dog. Take five breaths here for me. Finding stillness. Your gaze is steady up at the belly button. Come high on the toes, bend the knees, walk, step or float. Feet to the top of the mat. Hands on the shins, a halfway lift. Look out, lengthen, exhale, fold in. Look at your knees. Inhale, you come all the way up. And we begin a second round. Grab hold of that left wrist, take it over. Inhale, take it tall. Exhale, other side. Press out with the hip. Draw the hand up and across. Inhale, tall. Exhale, open out to a back bend. Squeeze the shoulders, spread the fingers. Inhale, come tall, lengthen. Exhale, swan dive the chest forward. Look at your knees. Halfway lift, you can be on the shins or fingers on the ground if you're loose enough. Palms down, feet back. Take that transition to downward facing dog. Drawing the shoulders over the wrists, lowering down, hovering. Release forward and through, you can drop down, or you can stay on the tops of your toes. Curl the toes, hips high, down dog. You get your five breaths to regroup. Arrange your hands, your feet. Draw the belly in. Any tension in the neck, shake the head. Come high on the toes, bend the knees, walk, step, float, top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. We'll take a third round of this warm-up called a sun salutation. 
Take a side bend, saluting the sun. Inhale, half, all the way up. Exhale, other side. Saluting the sun inside yourself, that light, inhale, that spark of life, fold in. Halfway lift, inhale, look out. Draw the shoulders back, exhale, palms down, feet back. That was a mosquito, lower down. Sweep through, shoulders back, exhale, downward facing dog. Stillness. High on the toes, bend the knees, walk, step, float, top of the mat. So it becomes rhythmic like a dance. Exhale, fold in. Good, now bend the knees, sink the hips, lift up the upper body. Stay low, you're in chair pose. Pick up all 10 toes in chair pose. I'm not trying to be a gangster rapper here. Good, open out to the side. Draw that left hand back, draw that left hip forward. Gaze to the back thumb. Inhale, come tall. Exhale, open out. Draw that right hip forward. That's it, feel it, pick up all those toes. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, I want you to shush out all the air like a ski jump. <laughs> Hands come behind and again, stay low. Exhale. <laughs> One more time. Spit all over the place. <laughs> Bodhi's like, what's going on? Inhale, come all the way up. A back bend. Palms, keep them together and float them all the way down the center of the body. Fingertips to the toes. Halfway lift. Palms down, feet back. Make your way to down dog, however that works for you. Maybe you just step back to down dog. That's your practice, your body, right? Do what works for you today. No other day, today. Walk the toes together on an inhale. Take your right leg high to the sky. Press back through that left heel. Three-legged dog. Curl the heel in towards the hip and rotate the ankle for me. Now rotate the knee. Get back to your breathing. Point the toe to the sky, maybe that heel wants to come in and flip the dog. What the hell is that? You drop that right leg over. You can sit down on your bum to kind of reset yourself like a springboard, spring up. Take the gaze up to the fingers, open the heart, express that however you want to express it. Good, flip back over, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw that knee all the way through. Drop down to the back heel. That's it, get your feet ready and come on up. A nice solid base, lift up. Draw the knee and the body forward and up. Lift up through your sides, look up. It's your warrior one. Clasp the hands behind the back. Take an inhale, shoulder blades together. Oh, this is where they crack and go. Gaze up. And exhale, humble warrior. Draw that right shoulder to the inside. Lower the body, lift the hands off the back. Look up at that space where the sun doesn't shine. Good, inhale, come all the way up. Keep the legs where they are. Lift that right hand, reversing the warrior. Windmill the hands down. Frame that foot, right foot goes back. I'll meet you in down dog, flow through in your vinyasa. If your knees are down and you're just starting and you wanna build up your strength, so just get your elbows in, lower down, hover the chest, then release, lie your belly down, toes down, press up, look up. 
draw the shoulders back. Curl the toes, hips high, down dog. Come high on the toes, bend the knees. Walk, step, float, top of the mat. A halfway lift. Exhale, you fold in. Good, bend the knees, sink the hips. We come up, we're in round two. Inhale, sit low, pick up all 10 toes. Exhale, draw the left hand behind, gaze behind. Inhale, come back to center. Now your belly's nice and tight. Exhale, it locks in all that energy. Inhale, all the way up. Let's do three ski jumps. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Come all the way up. A little back bend. Oh, there you go. Then fold all the way down the middle. Good, halfway lift. Palms down, feet back, you flow your way through to your down dog. So this is your vinyasa. Oh, it's a bit rough on a Monday. Inhale, look it up. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Walk the toes together on your next inhale. Left leg high to the sky. Curl the heel into the bum, rotate the ankle. Now rotate the knee. Point the toe to the back. Maybe flipping over that dog, drawing that foot behind. Sit down on the bum. Mine's a bit awkward because I have a post broken wrist. So I take it slow, but I'll give it a try. It's not going to look pretty, but it's all good. The main thing is to try, push yourself a little. Good, draw that toe in between the hands. Drop the back heel and come on up. Good, draw the body up, lift up through your sides. Take a breath. Draw the hands together behind the bum. Take an inhale. Oh, let the shoulders crack. Exhale, fold it in. Draw the hands back and off. Gaze underneath your butt crack. On an inhale, come on up. Keep your legs where they are. Left hand reaches overhead. Right hand slides down that back thigh. Good, windmill the hands. Take that transition vinyasa. So this builds upper body strength. Curl the toes, hips high, down dog. Take three breaths. Check in with your body. You should be feeling a little bit warmer now. Or maybe it's because I have the door open in Florida. Good, come high on the toes, walk, step, float, top of the mat. A halfway lift on your inhale. Draw the shoulders back, stick your tailbone long. Exhale, you fold in, look at your knees. Bend your knees, sink your hips, come on up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Take your feet hip width apart, come back to mountain pose, Tadasana. Spread the fingers, draw the belly button in and take three breaths for me. Can you feel your feet? Feel all four corners of those feet. Feel your legs, firm, strong. Feel your belly drawn in, your upper body strong. Take an inhale, reach the hands up, look up. Exhale, fold in. Take your peace fingers, bind those big toes. So grab your big toes. Take an inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold in. Draw the belly in. Take the elbows out to the side and pull up on those big toes. Lift your tailbone to the sky and just look at your knees. Relax your head, maybe shake it side to side. And breathe, all that, and bloody breathe. Whew. It's 
slowing that breath down releasing the toes and walk onto the palms of your hands bring your toes into the crease of the wrist so get them right in there bend your knees so you're standing on top of your hands take an inhale try to look forward and try to lengthen and lift the hips draw the head in look at your knees now lift up through the shoulders but you're pressing your toes into your wrists opening out the back side of the wrist you're decompressing the spine take one more breath release the hands to the hips and on an inhale come all the way up rise nice and slow when you come up out of a forward fold so you don't get dizzy release the hands down by the sides tadasana next inhale step back right leg stay high on the back toe take an inhale and reach those hands up to crescent lunge so your back heels off you're pressing and if you start to wobble toe heel that foot out a little bit so you increase your base right you're a little bit more stable bring the hands into the heart and twist it out to the left bring the elbow onto the knee gaze up to the ceiling press the hands down strong back leg one more breath drop that back heel windmill the hands all the way over to reverse the warrior you can gaze down at the back foot now left elbow left knee extend it to open out one way and open out the other way that just feels good good inhale open out five star take a back bend and then draw the hips down to that right heel oh you straighten that left leg curl those left toes up walk the hands over to the other side yeah we're getting into every nook and cranny to start this day come all the way back to center bring the hands to the hips and on an inhale rise exhale just ground down now turn left to uh, right toes to the back of your mat extend the hands out long take the gaze to the front hand you're going to come straight into triangle reaching 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 and then when you can't reach anymore let the right hand fall to the shin left hand reaches directly up rotating your thighs outwards gazing up at that top hand breathe one more breath it feels so good triangle look down at the big toe on your inhale use that left hand to drag you all the way up keeping the legs where they are take that right hand and draw it back to sky archer oh that whole right side opening up take one more breath release bring that left hand to the back of your mat inside of that foot let the back heel come off the ground you open up to dragonfly twist we're working front and back of the mat today gaze up at the hands good gaze down at that front foot you're going to slowly draw that back heel in I'll come forward come back a bit lifting on up trying to balance and lift your left leg to the sky it's called revolved half moon now if you have a block you could always place the block and see how that works for you take an inhale change hands so bring right hand down in front of the toes get your balance the leg stays where it is and on an inhale left hand opens up to full half moon 
Flex that back foot nice and strong with the standing leg. All right, we've had enough. Bring the hand down. Standing splits to square off the hips. Bring the feet together. Bend the knees softly. Take a halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up now. Palms touch above the head, hands come down to heart. Hands come down to the sides, Tadasana. Stepping back on your next inhale with the left foot. Bring the toe into the mat. Come on up to your crescent lunge. We got three breaths here, so get yourself organized. Good, reach up through the rib cage and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe. Bring the hands together in front of the heart and twist it out to the right. Left elbow, right knee. So you have to balance a little. Again, you can always walk one leg out a little wider. Press the hands down, gaze to ceiling. Breathe. Next inhale, drop the back heel, draw the body round, taking that right wrist all the way over into a reverse warrior. Did you like that save there, Leslie? <laughs> Dip into that front leg, right elbow, right knee, extend overhead. Take the gaze to the fingers, press down through that outside edge of the back foot. Good, inhale, open out. So just flowing with the breath. Take a back bend. And now you're gonna bring your bum over this left foot into Skandasana. So straighten out the leg and rotate the toe all the way up to the ceiling. So you get into that inside thigh. Other side, transfer the weight. Rotate the toe open. Walk the hands back to the center. Bring your hands to your hips and come on up. Rotate left toes to the front of the room. Bring that, those back toes round a little. Extend hands out. We're coming into triangle pose. Extend forward, left hand falls down, right hand reaches overhead. Now lengthen with the inhale, exhale, you begin to rotate open and back. Good, gaze down at the big toe. Draw up, keep your feet where they are, take hold of that left wrist, draw back to Sky Archer. Release, take your right hand down, inside of the foot, and dragonfly twist. Rotate the body open. Good, gaze down at the big toe. Start to bring that back foot in so you can maybe fly. Revolved half moon. Flex the foot. Keep your gaze steady at the mat. Bring that left hand down in front of the big toes. Now you're transferring, opening out, right hand to the sky. Open out the hips. Maybe come on to the fingertips. Maybe pressing so hard into that bottom foot that the fingers <laughs> float. No, not mine, not today. Good, bring the hand down, standing splits to square off the hips. Bring the feet together, bend the knees. Halfway lift, look out, lengthen. Good, exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up. How are we doing? Hands to heart. 
hands down by the sides. Take a deep inhale, exhale it out through the mouth. And again, inhale. Good, seal the lips, lock in that breath. Next inhale, we're gonna take left leg back. Stay high on the toe, take a deep inhale, reach the hands up. Good, twist it out. Pressing the hands down, looking up. Drop the back heel, come on over, reverse. Elbow to knee, extend. Inhale, five star. Open out. Skandasana over that left foot. So lower down. Rotate the toes open, feel it. Transition, other side. Set yourself up, feel the pose before you move on. Come back to center. Hands to the hips and inhale, come on up. Exhale, ground down. Rotate left toes to the back of the mat. Extend the hands out. We'll take triangle pose. Reach. Extend. And lift. And open. Gaze down at the big toe. Use that right hand to bring you up. Keep the legs where they are. It's sky archer. You lift through that hand and draw the body back. Gaze up at the elbow. Good, release. Right hand down, dragonfly twist. That back heel comes up, allows the hip to come round. Reach it up. Open out. Gaze down at the toe, fly up that back leg. Other hand down, left hand down. Right hand open out, so you're opening out the body to the side. Square off the hips. Feet together, bend the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Palms touch, look up. Exhale, hands to heart, take a breath. Hands down to Tadasana. Spread the fingers, chin into chest, belly button in. Tailbone tucks. Take two more breaths here. Notice your body. Notice your fingers. Energy flowing. Next inhale, step back, right leg. Stay high on the toe. Get your balance. Then lift up. Rise. Palms to chest, twist out to the left. Gaze up. Drop the back heel, reverse the warrior. So back heel down, back hand down, and dip in. Left elbow, left knee, extending the hand overhead. Inhale, open out, five star, take your back bend. Gaze up, shoulder blades together. Draw the body over and down to that right heel. Flex open the foot. Transfer the hands all the way over. Dip down, open out. Come back to center. Bring the hands to the hips, and on an inhale, slowly rise. 
Exhale, ground down. Rotate toes back to the front of the mat. Extend hands long, reach, take an inhale. Exhale, reach into your triangle shape. Gaze down at the big toes. Inhale, come on up. Draw the right hand down to left toes. Reach open, dragonfly twist. Gaze down at big toes, float fly that back leg off. Left hand down, right hand high. Square off the hips, drop the back foot all the way back. Inhale, come on up, crescent lunge. Open out five star, back bend. Good, inhale, crescent lunge, front of your mat. Exhale, frame that front foot, both hands down. Take an inhale, right hand reaches high, float fly left foot, half moon. Bring that right hand down, open out left hand. Drop the hand, drop the back foot, come on up, crescent lunge. Open out five star to the side of your mat. Take the hands, clasp them behind the back, back bend. Exhale, fold it in. Draw the hands off the back. Shake your head a little left to right, right to left. Draw the hands down. Bring the hands underneath the crown of the head. Inhale, a halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Draw the body forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Toe heel the feet in towards the hands. Hip width apart. And exhale, slowly lower the bum down into Malasana Yogi Squat. So toes point out the same direction as your hips. Bring the palms into the heart, elbows. Use your elbows to press those knees back. Try to lift the body up. Breathe. Good, how's your body feeling right now? Warm, right? Well, it's hot and nice and warm, let's just use a little bit of that fire, a little bit of that strength. I'm gonna teach you the beginnings of an arm balance. Whoa, if you've never done one of these, don't worry. Bring the hands down in front of you. Fingers point forward. I want you to lift your bum up, toe heel, the, the feet right behind those hands. So your bum's sticking up in the air. I want you to point your elbows to your knees. So point the elbows to the back of your mat, not out to the side. Slowly, you can see if you can bring your knees onto the triceps or into your armpits. You start to draw the body forward and take the weight onto the backs of your arms. You'll feel that, right? Now that can be enough for a start. Or you can maybe draw that left toe up. Feel that, place it down, draw your right toe up. It's called crow pose. You keep your hips high. Now if you'd like to have a little play, locking your knees in, your elbows back, transfer the weight forward, lift up one heel and maybe float the other heel. Right, I can't do it because of my wrist, but I wanted to have a try. 
So if you can float your crow, just keep your elbows pointing back. And maybe like me today, it's enough to just practice lifting one heel up to the bum. So you're just playing with your upper body strength. And then when you're ready, just sit back on your bum. Just extend the legs long for me. Bring the hands behind the hips, fingers point. Take a deep inhale, lift up the chest, draw the chin into that chest, flex the toes, maybe the heels float, draw the belly button in. Five breaths, Dandasana, staff pose. Slowing the body down, noticing the heat. Playing with powerful postures gets the body working. Good release, inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, draw the body forward and down. Bringing the fingers around the big toes again. Peace fingers, if it's there. Maybe you're at the ankles. Maybe you're at the bloody knees, right? There's no way you're not there yet. Well, it's a practice, remember. Right, you practice, you're slowly letting your body release day by day. Take an inhale, try to lift the chest up again. So you bring more space into your vertebrae and slowly draw forward, draw the head down towards the knees. Five breaths. Breathing into the tight spaces, and if it's all tight, breathe into everything. Send the breath there. Slowly release and come on up. Draw the heels in towards the bum, nose, nose, knees. Sounds the same. Bring the hands behind the bum, fingers point to the heels, and on an inhale, just lift up to your reverse tabletop. I'm using my block under my wrist, so because it feels better, you use your block can just help you get a little few more inches. Can't be getting a few more inches when you need it. Drew. Slowly, slowly lower down. Good, while we're here, we might as well fire up our core one more time. Let's just lift the, the right toes, lift the left toes. Your hands can be down by the hips, but I want you to lift the chest. It's called boat pose, navasana. You're gonna feel it maybe right in these quads. Maybe extend the legs, if that feels good. Maybe extend the hands. So you can be here, you can be here, here, or lift up. Two more breaths for me. Good, draw the soles of the feet together. Draw the heels into the body, lift up, inhale. Exhale, draw the body forward. So you'll feel this compressing those hips. So try and find stillness, relax the chin down. Take three breaths. Slowly rise, knees back together. Let's take one more round of that boat pose. Fingers down, position yourself, join the party. Lift on up. So this vinyasa flow class today, a little bit more paced, linking breath to movement, opening, getting energy raising in the body. Soles of the feet together, Take an inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw forward. Take three deep breaths. So a little more often athletic type of yoga practice. It's a very much a dance, a moving meditation. 
Inhale, come on up. It's great for when you need to wake up, get your energy flowing. Last time, boat pose. So working with stamina, working with strength, working with flexibility, that's a good time right there. Last time, heels in, soles of the feet. Open the feet up like a book. Take an inhale and exhale. Use your elbows this time to press the knees down and open out those inside thighs. Relax the chin and breathe. Butterfly pose, Navasana, Baddha Konasana. Good, open out the legs, wide straddle. If you're feeling it difficult to come forward, grab your flab, pull it out. Junk from the trunk. Might be a bit more in there after this whole quarantine rubbish. Lift it up. You know, like you get the freshman 15, it's the, <laughs> it's the quarantine quarter pounders on your ass. Take an exhale slowly. We need a name. Draw the body down. When you're as far forward as you can, lift up through the chest, maybe flex the feet and slowly lower down. Through your yoga practice, you gain a greater relationship with your body much more body awareness and hopefully a softening towards your attitude to your body realizing how beautiful how strong how flexible it can become and you appreciate it not for its externals right that's all we've been told that we are the body that we are what we look like maybe seeing it as your vehicle to experience life. Seeing, smelling, touching, feeling, tasting. Focusing more and valuing more the inside, you deep down in there. Because that's what matters. The external will gradually begin to fade, start to age, start to decay. Draw the feet in. Let's start with a nice positive thought of the day, of the week, uh, death, lower down. <laughs> it's coming for us all, boys and girls. So, reach the feet high, take the hands down by the sides, point and flex. The thing is, how do we live before that comes? How much can we live? Draw the knees into the chest, taking the hands out by the sides, maybe crossing left leg over right, taking a deep inhale, and just bring the feet back onto the ground. Take the knees over. Let's go over to the right. Oh. Take the gaze over the other shoulder for a little spinal twist. And breathe. How are you living? Are you living or are you just existing? A 
inhale, come back through center, extend the legs to the ceiling. Just crossing right leg over left, bring the heels back down and slowly lower over, let the head go to the opposite direction. Coming back through center, hugging the knees into the chest. Maybe taking a deep breath in and drawing the forehead up to the knees. Squeeze it in and suck in a little bit more air. Hold it. Hold it. And when you're ready to let go, let it go. Extend the legs long. Bring the hands out, take up space, open out. Take a soft inhale and exhale, let it go. Just melt into your mat and take rest. soft inhale back into your fingers a soft exhale maybe you're taking a good morning stretch 
hands high above the head and hug your knees into your chest. Rolling onto your right side and just using your arm as a pillow. Let's take a few breaths. Just remembering your intention, why you practice today. Pressing yourself up to a cross-legged seated position. Bringing the palms together, we seal in our practice, returning full circle to where we started, but a very, very different energy flowing to our body. Bring the thumbs up to the space in between the eyebrows, that third eye. Let us focus on kind thoughts. Bringing the thumbs towards the mouth. Asking that we focus on kind words. Thumbs back into the heart. And that all our actions come from our heart. Kindness, thoughtful, careful. Your thoughts create energy. So keep it locked in here into the heart. Sending out our metta, our healing energy to all those that need it today, that are suffering, that are angry, that are struggling. Namaste. Ah, that's my old fella. Oh, that's my little blue. It's my boy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Everybody looks depressed. Come on, we're alive again, right? We woke up. It's a good time. There we go.